Hello, hello. Karen Wolf here in the art studio today. Uh, how about let's paint a fall church? <laughs> Are you tired of pumpkins? All right. Today we're going to paint a um, fall church. Forgot to get my daggone iPad out here so I can see comments. <clears throat> let's do that real quick. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are doing good today. I need to charge my iPad. All right. So we're going to paint a fall church today. This is um, just a canvas. Um, while I'm getting my iPad set up here, uh, which I should have had done already. Hmm, but I didn't. Um, it's just a simple um, 11 by 4. Yeah, 11 by 14 canvas, and it's, uh, we're painting it in acrylic, and easy, same thing as we always do, we always paint in acrylic, and, um, let's see, iPad's different, go to posts, hmm, it's not showing I'm live, am I not live? Surely to goodness, there we go. Scared me for a minute. I thought maybe I was in the wrong group. <laughs> I have lots of groups. Uh, lots of pages. Uh, sorry for that. Um, there. Okay. Y'all say hi when you, uh, when you jump on here so I can see who's watching. Uh, and just when you say hey, I can see, see you in the comments. So, uh, hey there, Debbie. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for that. Because I was like, dang, am I live or what? It's uh, crazy. Facebook is a crazy animal. Crazy. Great when it works, but man, when it doesn't. Okay, so what we're doing, i would probably just use a couple brushes. Um, and this was just a quick painting that I just kind of threw together a little bit ago. Just something fun for you guys. Um, and it's just a, uh, fall church. We did a spring church, so I thought I would just do a fall church. All right. So, and if you all want to receive, um, notifications from me whenever, um, I go live, uh, if you want to know the first, uh, be the first in the know on things that are going on on my page, uh, and in, um, uh, announcements, get ready for a workshop, memberships opening back up, uh, just text, uh, paint, let's paint to 304-245-9690, uh, screenshot that number, uh, save it. All you have to do is text, um, let's paint. I mean, I know you all receive these like from like your doctor's office. I'm not constantly in, uh, text to be receiving notification, notifications from different people. It's the same thing. Uh, it's, uh, just a, a texting, uh, way to communicate, uh, between the two of us. So you go in and you do uh, 304-245-9690, text let's paint or paint, uh, painting, and I will receive um, a text from you. You'll get a notification back that says, hey, you know, uh, you have to confirm and put in some information and say it's okay for me to text uh, you and you to text me. And it um, it's easy stuff. It's really cool, and it'll be a great way for us to communicate. So, you know, ask me questions, or I'll say, um, you know, got something going on new. Here you go. So, it's it's a good thing. It's a communication back and forth between the two of us. So, that's what that is. All right. So, we're just going to paint a church today. Easy church. Not, not hard. I'm going to move you on a little bit closer. Get you a little bit closer. All right, so you can still see the screen, and there, all right, got that, get the number in there in case somebody wants to see that number. Okay, cool, uh, my whole thing moved, all right, um, easy stuff. Um, I've already got a bit of a drawing on here, but disregard that. That was from earlier whenever I was working on it, uh, getting ready to start it. So what we're going to do, we're going to start in with the blue and the white in the background. Just doing in just an easy with a one inch brush, acrylic paint. And we're going to paint in a, just a easy the sky here 
Yeah, this was a painting that I'd already painted on, so I had some stuff going on with it, and I just, uh, to use it, I just painted over it. Blue and white, and I'm just using some X strokes and painting in a background here. So, this will be an easy one that you can just do, um, you know, in a just an afternoon project or something. It's not real, real difficult or anything. So, hey, hey, Joyce, Connie, hey, Elaine, welcome. This is um, just an easy thing for you all to do. Um, the paint colors that I'm using are blue. That's how you like that messy palette. Um, I've got some white, burnt umber, yellow, orange, burnt sienna green, and uh, blue. I don't know that I'll use purple. Maybe. I didn't use purple in the other one. But, uh, never know. So, I'm just going to do like a dark blue, darker blue, not dark, a uh, darker blue on my outside edge. Hold back on your brush so that you get uh, some good loose and free brush strokes there, just like that. You can do little figure eights or whatever you need to do to get that paint blended in, but not um, not so smooth. You don't want it to be, you know, baby butt smooth or like you're painting your bedroom wall or something. Then I'm just going to go into some white. And paint this in the middle. And I'm painting in the whole background and then I'm just going to draw in my church shape and then paint it. So I'm just keeping it a little lighter on my inside and a little bit darker on my outside edge. Nothing different than we normally do. So I'm just getting some darker blue out there on that outside edge. This I graded a little bit with um, some sienna because I painted, painted over it like a half dozen times. <laughs> so if you want it to be grayed a little bit, you just add just a small amount of sienna in with blue and white and it just grays it a little bit. Gray just means it just takes it, tones it down a little bit so that it's not um, real uh, out of the tube blue. Okay, so then I'm going to come down here at the bottom. I'm going to paint in my grass, and I'm using uh, green and sienna. And if you all follow along with me here and you like what you see, um, this is what I do um, in the painting tutorials that I have. The painting tutorials that I have on my website on rbycarenwolf.com, and this is what we do inside the membership. Um, inside of the membership, you have access to all of those painting tutorials, um, and there are, uh, over 60 tutorials now, green, sienna, and I did add a little bit of yellow in that. Um, there are over 60 tutorials in that library, and in the all-access membership that's getting ready to open, guys, it's opening on September 20th, so get ready. And uh, the doors are closed right now, so if you go to my page, my Art by Karen Wolf Facebook page, or Art by Karen Wolf, no, back up, uh, Art by Karen Wolf website, artbykarenwolf.com website, uh, and go to memberships, all access membership. The membership is currently closed, but you can see more information there about the membership and... Um, you can sign up to get on the wait list. So, um, and there's a little um, bonus right now, a little freebie, freebie. Uh, if you go out and you sign up uh, to get on the wait list, um, it's all, uh, it's the rbycaramwolf.com on my website. And if you want, I can put the link in uh, below. Hey, Stephanie. And, uh, how are you doing? Hope you're getting to paint some. I hope you slow down. You and Elaine both. Uh, busy, busy beavers. Uh, just need to slow down and uh, take time to paint. 
Um, but if you go out to the rbycaramolf.com website, there's a memberships tab. And if you go to the all access membership right now, it'll say that it's closed. You get on the wet, the wait list and you will be notified, uh, when that, uh, opens. So there's that. If you want this to be a little bit more blue green like that is right there, just add a little bit of blue. You just, that's all you have to do is just add a little bit of blue to that and that'll take that yellow out of it and it'll make it more blue green. That's a personal preference right there. So whatever you like is what you should do. So up here it shows Patsy Westfall. Down here, I don't see Patsy Westfall. I don't understand this crazy thing. I do not understand. It's like different as night and day. But I appreciate you guys. I'm, th I'm thankful that you're on here. <laughs> Gosh. But if y'all have any questions about the membership, uh, feel free to, um, to ask questions. I, um, like I said, it'll be opening on the 20th um, of this month. And it'll only be open for new members, to invite new members in um, for five days. And then the cart closes and it doesn't open again until um, another six months. And um, that will be in March, I believe. So I'm just going to smooth out this. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just going to smooth out that sky, but all that stuff's going to be covered up, so I'm not going to worry about, about, worry about that a bit. I'm going to dry a little bit with hair dryer, though. So, it's pretty so far. Let's see. Y'all can't even see that. Which way am I going? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Sorry. Apologize for that. It shows you can see it in my... on my phone, but on my... Uh, why is it not showing up? There you go. Oh, gosh. It wasn't showing up on my iPad, but it was showing up on my phone. Weird. And all this stuff down here at the bottom is my board. I have to put a board there to hold all that up. If you're wondering what that crazy mess is. <laughs> it's my dabble board. board. That's where I take my paintbrush and I touch it on there to clean my brush off before I hit it on my uh, canvas. I um, I do that a lot as you can see. I just have to have my little, my little dabble board. This is my um, soft fine charcoal. This is a Winsor Newton brand uh, artist uh, charcoal. It's a soft fine charcoal and it's soft is what you need. Um, it wipes off pretty easy and it uh, draws on here. I mean, sometimes I tra transfer my drawing on. Sometimes I draw it on with my brush. Sometimes. You never know what I'm going to do, do you? Just the main thing, get this lined up. And then when you do your cross, you get your cross lined up. All that's lined up. Okay? And your pitch of your roof goes the same. Here's here. Here's here. Pretty, pretty easy. Come down a little bit below the, the grass with this. But if you like what you see, if you if you all paint with me, if you watch me on here and you want more, you want to see more, you would like to have access to all of the videos, you have access to me in the group, you have um, in the All Access membership, you have, um, there's other folks in there that are painting that um, are, you know, just a bunch of, a community of artists, like-minded folks. You, do you need to know how to paint? No. Will you learn how to paint? Yes. Um, I have a success path in there that you will uh, go through 
and you can learn uh, how to paint. I'm just rinsing my brushes here and get me some paint. Um, you learn how to paint and become a better painter in there. So it's a success path that you go through. You have, uh, I just recorded a bunch of videos today uh, that I'm going to be uploading into the group. Um, there's a uh, beginner. The success path has five steps. The uh, beginner artist, the intermediate. I can't even remember them all. Uh, confident, skilled, and expert. And you just figure out where you are in that path and you find your place. You go in, you go into the guides, and you follow along the steps. You There's multiple uh, little short videos that you can do to catch you up and teach you know teaches you all about the basic steps of painting on up through uh, to all of the others so and um, we have little meetings and things and um, Q A's and you win uh, you have challenges where you have opportunities to win there's all kinds of stuff goes on in there so it's a great fun time so if you have questions just let me know I'll be glad to answer your questions. Hey, Rose. Welcome. So glad you guys had uh, time to jump one here with me today and do this little tutorial. Figured we'd paint something different. We've been painting um, pumpkins. Can't paint pumpkins all along. Oh, I forgot to tell you how to make gray. Sorry, guys. Um, got the yapping and forgot. So gray can be made by using blue and burnt umber or blue and uh, burnt sienna. And you just take some white into those two colors and that makes gray. So there's that. And I'm just painting in this little area gray. Because everything that you paint white, you paint it with a gray color first. So you make you a big old dab of... Well, hey, Carla, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, make you a big old pile of gray right there with um, sienna blue and white. And when you uh, go into your colors, get them from the edge, guys. Get your color from the edge. See how I've gone into the edge and all of these? If you don't go into the edge and you keep daubing, well, that one I went into the middle, didn't I? If you keep daubing down into the middle like that, you'll contaminate your paint and say you need a pure white, you need to get a clean white, and you've contaminated it all, and you don't want to do that. So, but I try to come on here and um, pick some things that aren't real time consuming and aren't real difficult so you guys can uh, learn to paint on here too and paint along with me. But this is just a snippet, um, just a, a little little tiny bit of, of what's available inside of the membership. It's an online... Uh, membership, you get access, it's a monthly membership, if, and you get access to all this for as long as you're in the membership. You get access to the videos, the Facebook group, access to me inside the group. I go in and do lives and answer questions. Lots of Lots of stuff. Lots of fun. Lots of learning. It's not all about the tutorials. It's not all about the the tutorials in there. Then so you got all your gray in for your church. Then go in with the uh, more white and make a lighter gray pile. Just went down here and got some white. Added it to the gray that I was using. I'm going to leave this side of the church darker and somewhat up underneath of the eave, the 
I'll try to keep that lighter or darker, I mean. But I did not there, did I? I need to go back and pull. So I want it to be darker up here underneath. And then I want to keep it darker on this side here. And then everywhere else I'm going to work it in some light. I'm going to keep adding some light. Keep adding light. Keep adding light. Hello, Linda. I haven't seen you on here for a while. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. And I went into more white. And I'm just pulling that, taking that brush, just pulling up, dragging up a lighter gray. And then while that's drying, we'll go down and put some more color on the bottom. Get some more coat on the green down there. Which is green. And sienna. Oops, went into my gray white. That all the time. Green sienna and white. Can't get those little bumpies covered up. Green sienna white, and you can add a little bit of blue. We'll take the um, yellow out of it. If you don't want it to be that yellow color, yellow. But if you want it to be the yellow color, you can, that's up to you, don't matter. I'll probably add a little bit more. Okay, so I do like to keep it a little bit darker on the edges, so, but that's okay. What we got here is just fine. And I just went into some more white, added some white, and then I'm just getting some light just here in this middle part of the canvas. And I'm going to go into this gray little spot and I'm going to do a, I didn't even clean my brush. I just went into this little rinse in my brush. And then I'm going to take the a half inch flat and I'm going to go up to um, the trees, tree trunks. Y'all say hey when you jump on here so I can see who's watching. If y'all are on the replay, when if if this uh, you're watching on the replay, also add, um, if you don't mind saying hey when you're on the replay so I can see who's on here. I can't see who's watching if you all don't say hey. Just say hi. That's just helpful. All right, so I just did some blue and some brown, just making a dark color. It has a little bit of white in it, so it's a gray color. And I'm going to make some trees. So these I'm not doing like... Um, Oh, perfect trees. No, I'm not. I'm just making a couple lines up here. Some of them I'm making a little bit lighter to make it look like there's some trees in the background. Maybe there's some branches. 
And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna do just some indications of some branches because this gives me an idea of where uh, to put my leaves when I do these leaves. If I just, you know, come up through here and I don't have tree branches, then it's just all willy-nilly. So, and don't make your trees all the same height uh, like I just did there. <laughs> you want your trees to be uh, random in height. You don't want them to all be uh, the same. And then once you do your couple, you just get you some other ones and just do some little shorties in the... Just looks like there's some trees in the distance there. And then put your tree limbs, pretend little tree limbs in. Not a lot. Okay, so there's my... Um, Pretend trees. Well, they're trees, but you know what I'm saying. Um, then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to lighten up my church some more. I'm going to go back in with that dirty brush even, and I'm just going into the white, and I'm just getting some white, so it'll be a lighter gray even. And I'm just pulling in some more white. So my church is going to be white. And I'm just soft, soft pulling up. And I'm leaving some of that color in the background. Overlap some of those so you don't have a bunch of stripes. Leave dark up underneath of your eave and light, um, light on this side, dark on that side, dark up in here, dark up in here, dark here, and, uh, then I'm going to put in uh, some light just right on the top of this roof. I'm going to touch some white on the cross. And don't let fear stop you from doing this, guys. I'm telling you, you guys can do this. Um, you know, there's so many that get nervous about it and... Uh, you know, Violet, Violet, one of the girls in the group, was saying um, she's so glad that she finally um, did it and took that step to paint um, because she had been watching me for a long time and she wanted to try it um, and was just uh, was just afraid. So, oh, you guys can't see that thing anymore. There it is. Um... It shows it on my phone, but it doesn't show it on my iPad. It must be because I have it straight up. That's what it is. I have my phone sideways, and I have my iPad straight up, or my phone straight up. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Violet said that she was glad that she finally did it because she said she was um, nervous about it. And I think that's the thing that a lot of people um, just run into that uh, fear Fear keeps us from doing a lot of things that we want to do that are fun. And um, it's crazy. It just is really just um, crazy that we let fear have that control over um, over us like that. And we shouldn't. Um, I, um, I, with this uh, stuff that I've been doing here with this, the online things that I have to do now and... And all of the things that I've had to learn uh, with the changes since COVID. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, you know, I'll get real nervous about it. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, scared to death and afraid. And oh my, I'm not a tech person. I can't do that. I can't figure that out. And then um, I do it. And then I'm like, oh, that wasn't so bad. Why was I so scared? I, that's crazy. I was afraid for nothing. And that's the way this is. Um, you're nervous about it because you think you can't do it. And then you try it and you're like, oh, I can do it. At first, you may not be like the greatest at it. But when you first, um, then we're just going to put in the window shapes with this 
uh, half inch flat and I'm just going into the dark blue and the brown color and touching these in, shapes in. You can draw them in if you want with your um, charcoal, whatever I did with it. Oh gosh. Sometimes I tell you, I can't keep track of nothing. You can draw it in with your charcoal if you want. You can just sketch that in. Um, make sure that it's dry because it's, if it's not dry, it won't. Uh, it doesn't draw very good over it if it's wet. Um, but then, you know, fear is, is it ha it's a controlling thing. It really gets us, it keeps us from doing what, what we'd like to do and, and having fun. And then once you do it, you realize you can do it. And you practice and you get better at it. You learn, you implement, you practice, you learn, you implement, implement, and you practice. That's just what you have to do. I haven't always been able to do this. I had to do the same thing. Learn, implement, and practice. Implement is a hard word for me to say. Um, and once you uh, do that, then there you go. You learn, and you get better at it. You get better and better and better at it. It's the way it is with anything. Sports, singing, playing piano, anything. Driving a car. I mean, I'm sure whenever you went to drive your first car, you uh, were scared. You didn't know how to do it. And... You learned, and then you practiced, and you kept practicing, and now you get in your car and go down the road, and you don't even think it. You don't even think anything of it. You don't even think twice. You just do it without even thinking. It's like a scary, but I mean, we think about it because we're driving and we're careful and all that. But it's almost like something that you do. Um, you just don't even think about it. And that's the way it is whenever you paint. You learn and then you get into doing it and you're having so much fun that you just, you're not even thinking about, um, it being hard anymore. So, and, you know, Kathy was saying, uh, she's in the group. She was saying she was so thankful that she, uh, kept doing it because her first painting wasn't, um, she wasn't satisfied with how it turned out. She thought it, you know, was, wasn't a good painting, and I'm sure that it is, but um, she didn't let that stop her, and she kept going. She just kept going with it. So, just put a little indication of a dark place in there that that would be a bell. You don't have to draw the bell. Um, But there are um, tutorials inside of the membership. Um, they'll help you to um, learn. So that's good. All right. So down here we're going to go in. I think I am going to use a little, a little bit of purple into my gray on this path. Because it looks like I picked up a little bit on that one. Doesn't it to you all? I think. Where's that? My church just needs to still be a little bit more white. I'm going to go back into the white again. I'm just taking the side of my brush and pulling up those really bright white. And then I forgot the doorknobs. Those were just that dark color. And then we'll do the trees. 
that I did with a um, really yucky bristle brush. I'm going to get me a better one if I can find one. Hmm. Must be why I used that one because I don't see a better one. Well, holy cow. Okay. Well, sometimes you just have to use what you've got. I need to go upstairs and get me some brushes. See how that one's all spewed out like that? That will make like hmm, little hairy things. I just don't like that one. I don't think that one would be any better. I thought I had some other brushes down here. Maybe this one will work if I pounce the daylights out of it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some Sienna and orange for the leaves. I'm trying to get this thing to spread out. Orange and Sienna for the leaves. And I'm just going to... No, it's not any better. Oh, I don't like it as well as I did the other one. It's too close together. I'll have to go upstairs and... I brought all my brushes over from the art studio, but I obviously don't have the bristles that I need here. Okay, so I'm going in with some orange and some sienna, and I'm just going to touch in. Oh, well, actually, I need to go in with some lighter orange and sienna. I'm going to add a little bit of white. These are my background. Some background ones. Touch it with my paper towel. And these are just some of the in the background leaves. This is gonna be really cute. You're gonna love doing this one. I enjoyed this, painting this. This was fun. It was just something I'm just thinking about doing a fall church. Because we did the spring church. And these are just some background, um, just some far away leaves back there. Then we're going to do some in the face, in your face ones with the sienna and the orange. Add a little bit of yellow. Spread some of those out so that they're not like I just did right there, all a cluster. And you don't have to really make them all stuck together like that. You leave some of the background th showing through. And then over here, you do the same thing. Just little indications of leaves. It's not like a whole ton. There's not a bunch. Just some indications of some leaves. And then I just go back in with some more, even more yellow. You can add a little bit of white to it if you want. Just a little bit of white. And who I have on here now. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Amy. Hey, Ginger. Welcome, D. Yellow, orange, a little bit of white. Ooh, not that much white. And touch in some light ones in the front. Some really, some metal pop. These here is what I'm doing, just the little accent-y ones. And 
And there's these, there's not like a ton of those. They're mostly just on the light side. <clears throat> and then we'll go down and put some of the, I don't know why I rinsed my brush. We're going to put some of the leaves on the ground. So that is orange and sienna. And we're just going to come down here and just touch, 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 touch. And those piles of leaves, just touch, touch. And there's some that come in the front, even some that go in over that sidewalk, little path. And then just kind of, you just kind of swish, lightly touch and swish and touch, swish and touch to just end it look, make it look like little indications of leaves. So you're going to have a little thick of it back here, and then as it comes forward, then it's just less up and through here. Just not as many, and you just swish back and forth. And come over here, do the same thing. Just piles of leaves and piles of leaves. It was right underneath of the trees. There's like a bunch. I should have brought those tree trunks down farther. And just back and forth. And orange and sienna. I got into a little bit of the white right there. The dogs again. Never fails when I'm on here. Those dogs start barking. Back and forth. Back and forth. Then you're going to go into a little bit of the yellow and touch in just a, some indications of some of the yellow ones. Just light touch back here. Light, 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 light touch, light here and there. Just light, touch, light, 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 light. And then you can go back in and just do some more little highlights. With that yellow. Here and there. You can take some of the bright orange and pop up, pop in some of the bright oranges if you want. And there's that. And then the path got dark a little bit. Needs a tiny bit of encouragement. A tiny bit here and there, and I think that's it. You can come down a little bit farther. I did with this, just a little, just kind of touching that in. I think we got everything. I think that's it. And then, of course, acrylic dries two to three shades darker, so you can always lighten things up a bit. That's just the way that it is. So you just have to live with it for a while, and then um, when it looks like you need to make it a little darker, or a little lighter, I mean, just go back in and add, um, lighten it up. Sometimes it's best just to paint it, live with it for a little while, see how it goes, and then sometimes it's okay, but other times it just needs a little bit of light here and there. But establish your light source. Make sure you know where your light's coming from. Go light from that side. Mine comes from this side, usually. I didn't sign this one.
on your painting. Bait it. And there you go. Fun times. And you can keep adding. You can keep doing this, that, and the other to them and make them even better. So, there you go. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Up, uh, backwards. There it is. All right. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you so much. Hey, Regina. Um, you all text that number, 304-245-9690, and I'll text you back. We'll keep in touch. And that's how I can let you know um, when I'm going live, when I'm getting ready to do this, so you can see me when I'm on here. <laughs> And you'll know when the membership's opening. You'll know when all the good, good stuff's happening. Um, it'll just be a quick quick way to notify you guys. Um, so if y'all have any uh, questions, you can put them in the comments. Um, I'll be glad to answer your questions. The um, um, post will go out tomorrow. The um, post about the challenge coming up. That's exciting. So look out for that. That'll be a really fun one. Uh, $10 to join the challenge, and it'll be um, three days, uh, three evenings, not three whole days, three evenings painting uh, on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday for an hour and uh, each evening. And um, you paint it with me inside of a private Facebook, Facebook group. So it's fun times. You guys will enjoy it. I know you will. And... Um, I'll see you back on here then. So, I'll I'll be back on here probably tomorrow. Again, we'll paint something else. Fun. Thank you all. See you later. Bye-bye.